What's going on guys, it's your casual gamer and in this video I'm going to show you how to set up the Wii U emulator Simu. Let's head on over to simu.info, the link to this page is in the description below. Once you are here, scroll all the way to the bottom and you will see download latest experimental version as well as your stable version. I'm going to download the experimental version which as the recording of this video is 2.0. Then it's going to take you to this github page go ahead and click right here and then you want to click right here for windows x64 if you don't have 7-zip installed on your pc i will leave a link below you will need this program to extract the emulator here's that cmu compressed file on my desktop we are now going to extract it using 7-zip if you already have 7-zip installed all you need to do is right click on it go to show more options 7-zip and extract the CMU. It's gonna create a new folder containing all of your extracted files. We no longer need the zip file, so let's right click on that and delete it. Now let's open that folder. And this file here will be your emulator. So when you first open the emulator, it's gonna wanna import all of your Wii U games. So make sure that all of your Wii U ROMs are in the same dedicated folder. So I have created a new folder on my external hard drive called Wii U Games. And inside of this folder, I have another folder called Base Games. In this folder, you will see my base games. I have another folder called Updates and DLC. And inside of this folder, you will see all of the DLC and update files for my base games. Now getting working ROMs for this emulator is complicated. But I have a video over on my Patreon page called the USB Helper. And in this video, I will guide you through the process of getting working games extracted and being able to run in the CMU emulator. The link to my Patreon is in the description below. Back on the emulator, right here where it says Game Path, go ahead and hit Browse. Now locate wherever you have your Wii U ROMs, in my case on an external hard drive in this folder, and just select the folder which is my base games and then hit select folder now come down here to download community graphic packs and click on that and hit no you don't need to view the downloaded graphic packs now next now let's set our controller up so go ahead and click right here configure input next to emulated controller you want to select wii u gamepad because the gamepad was required to start Wii U games. Next to controller, we're gonna do API. Now I have tested an Xbox One controller, a Xbox Series controller, and a Nintendo Switch Pro controller with this emulator, and all three controllers work. The controller I am using now is a Nintendo Switch Pro controller. And for this controller, we're gonna use direct input. If we was using an Xbox controller, we would do X input. For controller, wireless gamepad, and then hit add. And now we can start mapping out our buttons. All you wanna do is click in the box next to the button you're ready to set up. So we can start with the A button, click in the box, and then hit whatever button on your controller you want to be the A button, and it's gonna go right down the line. So next it wants to know what button is the B button. So I'm gonna hit the B button on my pro controller, X, Y, left right and so on so just go through set all of your buttons up your left axis right axis and d-pad once you are done mapping your controller out go up the profile name hit the drop down arrow and go ahead and give this controller layout a name i'm just going to call it p1 and then hit save and you should see profile saved if you're going to be using multiple controllers with this emulator you can go ahead and set those up now so you can go to controller 2 and repeat the same thing down here under additional options we're going to go ahead and check start games with full screen and automatically check for updates and now we can hit close and your games will load into the emulator so now i'm going to show you how to add your dlc and game update files if we take a look right here where it says version so right now all of my games are on version zero besides bayonetta at version one and the dlc column is completely empty so let's go up to file install game title update or dlc 
So here are all my updating DLC files that I have in that Wii U games folder. Now you will have to add your update files in DLC separate one at a time. So if I wanna add the update file for Sonic Lost World, I'll click on that. This is the update file. And then you wanna click on meta. Don't go into the folder, just click on it so it's highlighted and hit select folder. Title installed, okay. Now let's go back up the file. Install game title, update or DLC. Relocate our files. And now I'm gonna add the Sonic Lost World DLC. Once again, click on meta. Do not enter the folder, just highlight it and hit select folder. Title installed. And now if we take a look at the version, you will see that Sonic Lost World is at version 48 and the DLC is 32. Now let's go up to options general settings you don't have to do this but i'm going to go ahead and uncheck discord presence and down here where it says game paths let's say you decide to move your wii u games to a different drive then you want to come here and remove your game path and add your new location or where your roms are now located let's go over to graphics now for the graphics API, I find that Vulkan will give you the best performance, but let's say you are having trouble in games, such as your game is getting the black screen or your game is lagging, then you may want to come back and change this to OpenGL and see if you get better performance with this emulator. Also, I don't get any screen tear when using this emulator, but say you are getting screen tear, then you want to come back to VSync and I recommend going double buffering and we're gonna leave everything down here at the default settings. Overlay, now if you wanna see your FPS while playing a game, then you can leave FPS checked, but if you don't wanna see your frames, then you can uncheck this. I'm just gonna leave it checked for this video. Now let's exit out of this. Now I'm going to show you how to edit a game's graphics pack. All you wanna do is right click on a game, I'll do Sonic Lost World, and then go to edit graphic packs. And over here, you will see all of your available graphics packs. Some games will have more options than this. Some games will have less options. But if you don't see anything over here, then you wanna come down to download latest community graphic packs. So for this particular game, some things I will wanna turn on is the 60 FPS two player race. And I wanna add these workarounds. So I'm gonna click on darkness. And if you are unsure what a particular pack does, then you see over here, you have a description of what you're turning on. So in this case, by turning on darkness, it brightens up the game to work around broken tone mapping in Simu. I'll go ahead and turn on disable light scattering, which this one removes the rainbow effect in game. And then you always wanna check graphics. This allows you to up the resolution of your game. So if I come over to TV resolution, I have the option to upscale all the way to 1440p. And we'll upscale that gamepad resolution as well to 1440p. The anisotropic filtering quality, I'll go four times. This will smooth out your textures in game. Now I'll show you what another game graphic pack look like. Let's go to the wonderful 101. And as you see, this game only has two options. That's resolution and shadow removal. Now let's load up a game and all you want to do is click on the game. I'll do Sonic Racing Transformed and that game will load in full screen. Thank you guys for watching. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will catch you in the next one. Peace.